Okay, so here we have a table. Uh, the first problem, 50%, I want to change it to a fraction and decimal. Same thing here. This is a decimal. I'm gonna, I want to write this as a fraction and as a percent. So I'm just filling, I'm, I have to fill in all these, right? So percent to a fraction. Remember, anytime I want to change a percent to a fraction, I just put it over 100. So this will be 50 over 100. That's it. But I just have to simplify. So 50 over 100, again, 50 goes into both the top and the bottom, so I can just divide. This is just 1 over 2. Okay. To change it to a decimal, you can do two things. You can move this, remember percent to decimal, you move it to the left two spaces. Or you can just, from a fraction to a decimal, you just divide top number divided by bottom number. Now this is easier because all I have to do is move this decimal point, right? So it starts right here at the end and it goes 1 and 2. So the decimal point is going to be right in front of the 5. It'll be point five zero, And you can leave like that, or you can drop this zero because the zero is at the end of a number and it's behind the decimal point. So this would be 0 0.50 or 0 0.5. That's part two. Okay? All right, so the next one, 0 0.07. That's the decimal. I want to change it to a percent. So again, I'm making it bigger. That means I have to move the decimal point over to the right to make it bigger. Two spaces is going to go one, two, and it's going to go right there, right behind the seven. So, zero seven percent, right? Or zero seven is the same thing as. Or let me just erase the zero. Zero seven percent is the same thing as seven percent, right? So I can just leave it like that. Now to change this to a fraction. Remember, percent to a fraction, you just put it over 100. Or from a decimal to a fraction, remember you count the number of numbers behind the decimal point, that's 2. So you're going to put two zeros in the denominator. So either way, it's the same thing. So it's 7 over 100. Now see if you can simplify. No, because no, there's no common factors, no numbers that go into both 7 and 100. So that's it. Okay, and the third one, same thing here. So percent to a fraction, put this number over 100, 8, 8, oh, let me write that over, 8 over 100. So here we have both even numbers, divide this top and the bottom by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4 over 100 divided by 2 is 50. Look, I can simplify this again because top and the bottom number are both even again. So divide this by 2. I know that 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 50 divided by 2 is 25 because that's half of 50. So this is my answer. And then to decimal, so here I make it smaller, move it to the left two spaces. It's going to go 1 and 2. See how from right here it went 1 and then it went 2 with an empty space, right? So it has to be point zero 0.8 because you have to fill in that empty space with the 0. Okay, so 8% it went at the end, 1, 2. Decimal point, fill in this space with 0. And then the last one, from a fraction, two deci uh, percent and decimal. In order for me to go from a fraction to a percent, I have to give the decimal point first. So divide four inside, five outside, point, bring it up, put a zero. Five goes into four, zero times. 5 goes into 40, OK, 
Okay, so 5 times 8 is 40, right? If you subtract, you get a remainder of 0. That means I'm done. So my decimal is going to be 0 0.8 or 0 0.8. It's the same thing. Okay, and then from decimal to percent, make it bigger, right? So 0 0.8. That means I have to move it to the right, two spaces, so I go one, two, empty space, put a zero, becomes 80%. Okay, well, that is it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educated Office.